Hey friends, me Jenny here with another t-shirt cutting tutorial. Today we're using a shirt that I literally bought at the dollar store, so perfect opportunity to practice on a shirt that only costs one dollar. Here's an example of what it looks like when we're all done. We have a couple sets of weaves on the back, some decoration on the sides, and some slits on the front. First, like I often do, I cut off the sleeves, the bottom seam, and the neckline. I like how this shirt did not have any seams down the side, so I make slits down both sides. I flatten it out, and then I cut some slits down the neck. Turn it around, and then I'll cut slits all the way down the back. I like to stretch it out and then I put it on my mannequin. If you don't have a mannequin, feel free to use a pillow or a cutting board or a canvas, anything that helps make this weaving process a little bit easier. So for weaving down the back, I think I've heard it called laddering before. I start with the second string from the top and then I pull the next string below it through and just continue all the way down to the bottom. When I get all the way to the bottom, I cut the last two strings and tie them in knots at the sides. The second row of weaves, we're going to make a little loop and pull the next string through the loop. And same thing, twist it in a loop and pull the next string through it. You can do any combination of the regular weaving along with this looping style of weave and you can create some pretty unique styles doing this. You'll notice that when you loop the string, it'll make it a little bit tighter. So this can be useful if you're trying to make a more form-fitting shirt. Or if it needs to be looser around certain areas, then you can skip the loop. As we get towards the bottom of the shirt, I start going back to the regular weave without the loop. And at the end, I just use the last two strings from the first set of weaves and tie an extra knot around the last string to secure it. Remember when we cut off the sleeves? Let's go ahead and use that extra fabric to make some long strips.
Then at the sides here, you'll see that I just grab three at a time and use those extra strands of fabric to tie little knots. I really like this look. It looks kind of like bows. And you can either leave those strands kind of dangling, which I think is pretty cute and decorative, or you can cut them short, whatever you feel like doing. Same thing on the other side, just grabbing three at a time. Ta-da! This is what it looks like in the end. Just some slits down the front, the bow-like decorations on the sides, and a little bit of weaving on the back. Super simple DIY t-shirt. Perfect for summertime, wearing over a bra or a bikini. You can add more decorative cuts if you like, but I just wanted to give you a great example of how much fun you can have with a shirt that only cost $1. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if so, on my DIY with Jenny YouTube channel I've got lots of other tutorials that I've made as well as compilations of my favorite tutorials by other YouTubers. On my website, JennyNexus.com slash DIY with Jenny, I also have links for my Pinterest with not just t-shirt DIY but also makeup, hair, and nails, other DIY projects I thought were really fun. If you found inspiration from this video, I hope that you share it. And if you wind up making your own project, feel free to tag me in your post, either on Twitter or Instagram. I would love to see what you come up with. See you next time. Bye!